Hi, and welcome back to part two. This is the seven envelope um, flip flap um, folio folder. Um, and I have called it botanical art. And because I'm going to be using um, the botanical theme with some uh, watercolor um, prints that I have made onto uh, music paper and then decorated up a little bit with um, some gold pen and um, most of my flowers are cottage garden um, because that's what I have and that's what I love. So there's uh, crocuses and wisteria, roses, irises, foxglove, snapdragons, uh, crocuses, cosmos, um, columbine, um, marigolds, and um, zinnias, etc. So, um, and I don't know if I said cosmos, but there's cosmos. Anyway, uh, lots and lots of uh, beautiful prints that I've got uh, ready here now to uh, put onto the pages. And, uh, the, but the first thing that I um, had to deal with was the fact that this is, um, they're very um, um, fragile, um, seams where we've joined the envelopes together um, these are like you know the envelope one two and three four with the cover pages so those are four pages thick but the um, where the envelopes join into the other envelopes you've only got one layer there so it's um, it's not going to be very strong and I noticed on the original that um, there was parts where um, the, the original meaning the, um, the first one that I made, um, and that we're doing this tutorial from because of the requests after showing this, but you see there's rips through here and I put some material on there, but, uh, for this one, I was trying to figure out what I could do in the beginning to make sure. And so what I've decided is that I'm going to use Tim Holtz tissue papers and in the entomology, and I'm going to put these on the on the seams. All right. And the other thing is that I'm using Tim Holtz brand of the Distress Collage Medium to do that. Because um, I bought this one before. I was told it's the same because they're both by Ranger. But it... In my mind, they're not the same. So this one sticks better, sticks quicker, sticks more fast. So like not in speed, but as strong. So anyway, here we go. So I've got that also in a collage medium um, in the vintage um, and in the mat. So if I find I want to put the, the vintage over top, I can do that. But for now, I'm going to just use this one and I'm going to um, start sticking those um, little bits down onto the seam areas. All right. So um, make sure that when you've got this, that you're not folding where you've got an opening or putting take, um, the tissue where you have a, an opening because that's a nice little pocket if you want to use that as a pocket. So we left quite a few of them open. So, uh, but mostly, like we said, we, we were going to put those on the end, on the ends and rather than in the middles, but depending on how you want to fold that, that could be an end. So I'm just going to keep an eye that um, I've got the pages both stuck down when I'm going to put the tissue on. And I could, if I can't get the tissue on this side, I will be able to get it most likely on this side so and on I may do both but at least I will have it on one so I'm going to go ahead and um, complete that so the only thing that I wanted to really mention was that with this collage um, the the thing is to, to do is um, put 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 enough down put a generous supply down put your tissue on and if I just left it like that you can't it's kind of it will dry rather white so I always put another coat on top and that will make that more transparent 
so that you can see the um, papers that you've got underneath. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do up all the seams, and then I'll be back with um, our next step. Okay, so this can be a little tricky because um, if you do um, you paste some down and then you go to do your next one and you paste those down, they may stick to each other. So you may want to just do one side, make sure it's good and dry before you move on to the other side. Um, uh, and then you can just um, stand it up on its little, it's kind of like a little body without a head. But uh, there's the legs, there's that center piece, and these are two, two arms. So if I have it like that, and I could leave that for a while, or I could use my heat tool, but I prefer to just let these things dry on their own. And that gives me a good minute to go and have a cup of tea and um, think about it a little bit more. And then I can come back and uh, carry on. So um, I'll do that. And um, as you can see... We've got them all, all the bits on there now. This is the edge I've left open because of that nice big pocket. And um, that pocket actually goes through on both sides. So it could be accessed or so I could close it off and just do that. But I'm figuring I'm going to just leave that for now. So um, there's there's a little figurine. Um and uh, I'm just going to leave it standing to, to dry. All right, so um, I'll be back in a bit. A uh, little sidebar here. I was so excited. Um, I saw one of these in my yard and um, I had to get my book, my bird book out, Birds of North America, Book of North American Birds. And um, I had to find out what it was because we don't get, very colorful birds like this very often and it was in my yard with a couple of babies and there may have been two of these but um I'm, i might have seen the same one twice but anyway i i have never seen them in my yard before and uh they eat the dandelion seed so the head once the flower has turned and the yellow petals have turned to seeds um here it's on a thistle but they were i saw them eating my dandelion seeds um just so beautiful um the, with the yellow little black cap and it says here that they are here year round so here's where i live way over here um vancouver island and anyway anyway just uh got sidetracked and i just got so excited i think i'm gonna uh, make a book on birds next uh, you know they're so wonderful anyway let's uh carry on here in one moment Thank you for indulging me. Um, okay, um, I just want to say one more thing about the bird. Um, we probably have those around here, um, but I've never seen one so vibrantly colored, and that is very exciting to me. Anyway, so back to the book. I've got the um, tissue papers put on, and now I'm just going to go back through and do a little trimming here. Make sure that I've got um, the edges ripped off that I don't want, if I want that. And I can always come back and do this later as well. So, um, that's, uh, you can tear them if you want. They come and tear off fairly easy if your hands are agile enough to do that. And um, just take those like that and uh, rip it off. Kind of like the more um, organic look myself. So some of the edges didn't quite get down, but I can um, deal with those later. All right. So now where we're at is um, we've got uh, we've got this, and you can see there's a couple of spaces where I didn't put anything yet. Um, so, and then at the end, on the end, there's this nice big pocket with this, um, this there. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit hmm, on this one at the bottom because I want to cover, actually, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to carry on here now with the next thing. And it's about putting these flowers on and how we're going, how I'm going to, um, 
attach those. Now I do like this um, tissue with the black on there because it um, it goes well with the music notes. But I think what I'm going to do is instead of having these it's all like great big squares, I'm going to I'm going to cut them all down a little bit. I'm going to rip them all a little bit closer to the actual flower. I know I'm going to lose some of that um, beautiful splashing that I had on there from the watercolors, but um, I just think that now I want to do it this way. So I don't know if you guys do that, but I'm kind of a spur of the moment, and it doesn't always work out. Sometimes I go, well, maybe not. But I'm thinking that that's going to be plenty on there, rather than a big block like this. Anyway, let me tear these down a bit and get them sort of organized as to where I want to paste them and then I'm going to um, just start pasting them in, unless I change my mind before that. Okay, so um, I've torn some of these down, so um, the shapes are very different now from being more square like that. So, um, and then I've just kind of gone through and uh, with the flowers that I've got, trying to make sure that I've got colors that are going to go nice on all the sides. And now all I'm going to do is um, take my um, collage medium and uh, paste these down. And when I do that, I'm just going to paste them straight down on here. I was thinking of putting them on the back of, a, of a, this kind of a little field notes card. Or maybe even on the front of a little field notes card might be kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, this way my, my brain works. So if I put that on the back of that, you could um, you could flip. You could have a flip. Or, um, or I could maybe just leave these um, to, put, to go in the pockets and make these a little bit smaller. This is this is just field notes identification um, card, dates, location, time, where the weather was like, habitat, etc., vegetation, general observations. So um, I think maybe I'm going to change my mind on that, and I'm going to just put these down there because I kind of like that. Um, and I think we're going to get lots going on here too. So let's um, just put these down. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go through and lay a fairly generous and wide. Um, I want my, my stripes to line, my lines to line up. Now what I'm going to do is also I'm going to paint this matte medium over top. Get a fair amount underneath and lots on top. So that it's going to soak in and it's going to make it a little bit more vibrant picture. I don't know if you can notice that, but um, it does. It also provides a bit of a, of a base if I want to do different things on here, um, which I might, you know, with crayons or something like that. So it lays that foundation for me there. So, so I'm going to just carry on. Now, see, I don't want these two colors together like that. So I'm going to have to think of a way. To make this more you know of what I'm looking for so anyway that's going to take a bit of time so let me um, try and work that out and then I will get back to you um, okay so um, I got these um, stuck down and uh, it dries fairly quickly particularly on paper more so than it does on the tissue I find but um, I just save these little bits of plastic from packaging and uh, so I can put that down and it's pretty much dry but not quite so it would stick if I just flipped it over and then particularly if I work on it so I put that piece of plastic in there and then it's easier um, when I'm ready to uh, move on and uh, go to the next page or flip it so I'm going to carry on here <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to carry on here figure out what I want where and uh, I'm going to do this layout and I will get those pasted down. Um, okay, so as I'm going, I'm trying to make sure that I keep my lines straight 
Um, you can peel it up if you really have to and you're very careful and your paper's thick enough, but better just to be more uh, mindful of that right at the beginning. So I've got these down and um, uh, I'm just sort of on the last one. The way I've kind of arranged them is so color wise that they will go nicely on the pages and that there's a mix um, with the colors and also a mix with the type of plant that's probably getting way too complicated but so then it comes to this and I go do I want to put that one down or do I want something that's quite different no do I want something that's quite I'm gonna go with that I think that's the one I had so anyway I'm going to put these down and then those four will go on the last flip page so I'll get that done then I will come back to show you um okay got that um done and this is one of the envelopes on the end that I'm going to use as a um, pocket, a big pocket. So I figured that I would put some more of this tissue paper on here and fold it inside just to reinforce that edge as well. So again, I put more plastic in there and uh, just while that's drying so it won't stick. And then I come back to this page and uh, let's see, it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm going to leave this plastic on here just, oh, I'm turning actually to a non-stick side, so on my paper, so I should be okay. So I will actually just put this, this is the newest one. I'll put that in there, and then I'm going to fold over. Now I've got this little double fold, remember the, the arms? I've got that um, that I can do something to, and I've got these. I like that, just like that. So I have to decide what I'm going to put in here. Um, am I in? Oh my goodness sakes. Um, I have to decide what I'm going to put in the window. And um, then do the layout here for these pictures. And um, I'll glue those down and we'll go on to the next step <laughs> okay so um i'm still going on here um i thought i would glue a nice little pocket down over here um probably in the dark like that and so i got this new glue i thought i would try it scrapbook.com smart glue it tastes like a hell which I found out when I had to take this little lid off to remove this little tiny red stopper that's inside there. It's in the garbage now. This is very sticky, very, very sticky glue. So I don't know this if this is going to be the glue for me. But um, let's, let's see how well it sticks. I'm sure it's going to stick well. So I could put that one there or that one there. I'm thinking I'm going to stay with a little bit of the darker tone. Um, so just putting a little bit around, probably way more than I need. Sheesh, kind of wobbly today. So let's get that glue off my hands. And I'm going to put it down there. We are going to ink edges, so don't worry about that part. That's... Uh, getting it solved later. So there we have one pocket on that page and then I can decide what I want to put in it. I'm thinking maybe something like that, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go through and decide other places um, for things that I might like to put on. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not gonna overload it, that's for sure, because um, I want to be able to see and I don't want too many tucks and, and stuff but I say that now so we'll see what happens